everybody welcome back to dream garage uh today's video is going to be a little bit different because of unfortunate circumstances um what you're seeing behind me i'm going to explain here in a second um this week we are on vacation at wolf river dale hollow and we were going to do a video about some different marinas and kind of talk about the different marinas to us and and over the years, what's evolved, what's changed, and just some things about the lake in general, because I think there's a lot of people that uh, watch these videos or or like to look at things from different lakes. We, um, I know I enjoy that when I watch videos as well. But today, unfortunately, is kind of still the shock factor of what happened last night. So to dive in what happened um, last night at about nine o'clock our time in Indiana, um there was some lightning coming uh down on the lake we were in town in albany and was finishing up at the dollar store and the lightning you could see was close and it was big it wasn't heat lightning or any kind of normal lightning that you would see and think oh there's lightning going on it's about to be a storm whatever uh it was pretty severe and the lake at the marina um definitely seized some damage so what you're seeing behind me the dock that's right here that is k dock on wolf river where the rental pontoons are uh dad and i's boat was actually on that dock and it was broke loose along with the whole main dock the whole main dock is broke loose from the ground uh anchors broke and uh there's at least four or five docks that have been separated from its origin uh of the main dock so um try to give you guys a visual here so you can see more so you can see water going right through where the main dock would be um the dock in the distance which i'm going to get very good pictures for you guys uh throughout the video while i'm talking uh is almost to the wave break it was already loose from a storm in february and it was kind of stuck in a certain area but it moved very much uh a good amount when this storm hit um, there was some damage on the first level, which is where our trailer is. Luckily the trailer's okay. We did have a uh, awning bust, um, because of the storm, but one of our neighbors, their tree broke and is over the car. Um, a lot of tree damage, uh, a lot of, again, just damage in general. So it's been kind of a shock and, and a sad day. Last night, we didn't get a lot of sleep. We were very uh, lucky and fortunate that Dad and I were able to get our boats off of K-Dock. One of our neighbors, Becky and Tony Downs, they were able to help us get over there from their boat to pick our boats up. So we were able to locate them, relocate them over here. So there's our boats now on F-Dock. There was damage on the end of F-Dock, the um, awning over it. It had to bust out at the end it did hurt one of the pontoons uh it's just been it's been it's been crazy we uh didn't get a lot of sleep we lost power right now we have water out because the pump in town there was a tornado that touched down in town um so we kind of got away from it at the right time there's been workers around here around the clock uh, i don't know how they're going to get the docks fixed in a timely manner because with power lines and things like that, you have to have engineers, you have to have insurance claims, a lot of things going on. So uh, nothing that I've seen as far as actual boat damage to this point. Now, again, I haven't, you can't even walk out there. So it's really hard to see anything like that. There were some people that were saved off houseboats. There were people straining on the dock that got picked up. So this was definitely a community effort. This is one of the reasons I love coming down here is because the community is so tight knit and willing to help drop whatever they're doing. And uh, there's a lot of people just in kind of shock right now and just upset about what happened. Uh, it almost brings tears to your eyes when you see a marina that you have spent so much time at and you consider a second home to have this happen. And it could have been a lot worse so I do want to be thankful and, and be blessed to say that um, there was no major damage to our boats and, you know, nobody got hurt, which is the main thing. I mean, things can be replaced, people can't. So luckily we did not have to worry about that, but it has just been um, an unbelievable trip right now. 
um, to kind of go through. So I'm going to get some good pictures again that you've already probably seen throughout this. And uh, it's just, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. So lightning had struck the tree that went over the car. Um, it's a beautiful morning, but I have no idea how they're going to even be open on the dock because you can't access it. So gas, I don't know how, if that's damaged as far as the lines, I don't, I don't know how you even get gas right now. Their store can't be open. They have to get these docks fixed because again, there is no path to get out there. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll go get some pictures and, and, and make sure you guys see everything and, uh, update you here in a minute so right now we are currently at the ramp where you load in launch your boat or pull it out and you can see the dock behind me that is uh has traveled all the way over here now again that was already separated from the dock from a, a storm back in february and uh last night it had, it had taken it all the way over here so uh, wave brakes are broke as well they are all moved matter of fact one of the wave brakes is looks like it is uh, vertical where it's supposed to kind of cover around the uh, marina it is it is vertical now and um so again not a not a fun video not something that i was planning on doing uh nor was it something that i was excited about but sometimes the unfortunately the footage comes to you and and i wanted to share this with you because i know there are so many people that love this lake and um, have been to Wolf River, either that's coming by to go to the cliffs or, you know, coming by to get gas or you, you know, stay here or have stayed here, have family that stayed here. You know, this means a lot to a lot of people. And uh, mom and I were driving around this morning and, you know, last night we were kind of caught up in everything, trying to just get the boats moved. And, you know, it was almost tears of the eyes kind of movement because again, you know, we've been coming down here 30 years and I had asked my dad yesterday, I said, what is the most tragic thing you've ever seen on water? And, you know, this morning he looked at me and said, you know, he asked me that. He said it hadn't happened yet. It was last night. And so there's just a lot of people that are just, um, just upset about what happened, but also thankful that it could have been a lot worse. And, you know, as I'm saying this and the sadness that, that I say this with, I also have a, a very humbled heart and, and blessed to say that we, we're still here. Uh, again, nobody got hurt, and uh, I didn't see a bunch of property that was personal hurt other than, like I said, the trees and things that you've already seen. And again, you know, all the docks that have been moved and people's personal boats on those docks. So I know there's a lot of people wondering, you know, what are we going to do? How are we going to, you know, get our boats off the docks? Or how are we going to be able to access them or you know, what's the time frame to get all this fixed? And, you know, just a lot of questions going through everybody's minds right now and heads. So, um, you know, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so. Hit the like button, notification bell, so you don't miss anything. Um, again, sad video, not something I wanted to do, but I feel like this is uh, definitely something that was noteworthy so people could see it. And if any of you have uh, watercraft on the lake or, you know, have mobile homes down here or anything like that. Um, hopefully I've gotten footage so you can kind of feel at ease that, Hey, I'm still floating. I'm not, you know, in jeopardy of losing my, my property, but at the same time, you know, seeing the damage the morning after it happened, I would have done this last night, but it was way too dark to get any kind of footage. So it is currently about 8 AM, uh, been up for about an hour. So, you know, some of my neighbors said they haven't even slept yet. It's just been one of those things that's just kind of shook everybody up. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And, uh, you know, again, be thankful and always know that, you know, it can be worse when something like this happens. And, uh, you know, it kind of reminds you of what's important in life. And that little things don't near as matter as the big ones. And, um, you know, we are very thankful for this lake. We've uh, spent so much time here and we'll continue to do so. And, um, but you know, mother nature has her own planes as well and storms happen. And uh, I'm just glad that we were able to be safe through it all. So have a great day guys. And uh, we will see you guys in the next one.